All right, I am excited. It's an adventure day today. We're heading out for a bike trail. Something we haven't done for a while since we uh, got to California. Woo, sunny California. And the amazing thing of uh, today is that there goes Mark. See him? He's out and about already. He's actually taking the garbage out. So we're hitting the bike trail today and we're in uh, Valencia Village, right around by Santa Clarita, um, California. We're heading into Santa Clarita because we heard there's some awesome bike trails. Um, there's like over a hundred miles of interconnecting trails. And uh, that is our adventure today. Bikes are in, we're ready to roll, but I guess we're still waiting for Mark, but at least he's out here taking garbage out. That's a good thing. something for the intro? Yes. I already did one. But no. my question is, do I need my wallet? Uh, Heck no. <laughs> my Marco takes care of me. <laughs> man pays. Okay, actually, uh, you missed the it's most free. important part of the, the uh, intro, and I knew you would. Uh -oh. uh, why don't you tell our viewers how you started out this morning telling me that I was not left, but I was you were right. Okay, why don't you show what All happened right. here. Alright, let me show you what happened in our messy, filthy place. So here, you know, remember Mark had um, put down all this carpet down there? I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever, that's fine. So I had my, my smoothie right here, and I'm reaching over to water my plants, and I accidentally dumped it on the carpet. Yeah. So he was right. And I was neutral. Okay, so what, what was Mark? <laughs> Mark was right, and okay. I was neutral about the carpeting. Right. I'm like, whatever. And he's so, like, no, we have to have it. It was an easy cleanup. Yeah. Whatever that is made out of, it is an easy cleanup. Yeah. For so, a smoothie, that's pretty good. Yeah, for a smoothie with little fibrous pieces in, and it's jelly-less, and it's well, sweet. It it's, yeah. soaks in it. So wet. Sue is a master at picking the appropriate things to dump on the carpet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be foolish. I would just like dump water on it. But what did Sue do? Move back, Sue. Show them what else you dumped on. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Show them right down there in the corner. All right. All it right was here. another smoothie. No. We need to vacuum this. It wasn't a smoothie. It was cheesy broccoli soup. Oh, broccoli How soup. How quickly we forget about that. <laughs> broccoli soup. It was like a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. See, we need to vacuum. We shouldn't be showing let's, that right let's now. Let's get on our trip on our bike. I know. Trip. I'm excited. Let's go. I I'm know. ready for biking. It's a beautiful day in the 70s, sunny California. Okay. Let's we'll, go. We'll see ya. You do realize that we traveled 30 feet already, and I'm in danger of getting lost All in right. our. All right. I would have taken a right, but. <laughs> really? Seriously, that's it. This, this is okay. We're just back. Look at that. That's some great scenery. Yeah, this That's is what, what we, we got to look at every day. I love these mountains. They look like wrinkles and fabric. Yeah, off to the left there, that was disrupted because they're actually making this place bigger. Uh, I think Cindy, Cindy or Barb said that they're adding, I think, 70 spots to this place. Whoa, we'll verify that. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. All right, we're heading out. They'd go faster, but the speed bumps, they'd lift the front wheels off the ground. They do. Yeah. That's, I, and the only reason I know that is when we went here with here, uh, through here with the rig, I was like a couple of feet in the air a couple of times, so I You were not. Down. Oh yeah, Mr. Speedy here. There you go, five miles per hour. Slow down, buddy. Yeah. Look at you. Oh Marco. my God, I was going eight. Jeez, Mark. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. I know. There's the there's the famous circles. The circles. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, they're uh, these are the shorter term. We're like kind of a middle term. These are dailies. Mm -hmm. We're weekly, and if you stay monthly, they put you usually along the perimeter. 
They actually do have a nice pool. It's not open that long and uh, it's been warm. We haven't gone in the pool at all. It just gets cold so fast in the evening. You'd be in there if your husband wasn't such a lazy slob. I would be in there. Yeah. Stop being a lazy slob. Let's yeah. go. There's registration department. There we go. They've been very helpful and nice in there. Valencia Travel Village in Castaic, California. Oh, you said it right. Yeah. Good job. So usually I stay on this highway and I pick up Interstate 5, which is crazy. I kept hearing about Interstate 5 around uh, the LA area. Every story I heard is correct. So we're going to take the side road. We could hop on Interstate 5, but we thought we'd do a little uh, exploring and take the, the old road, I believe it's called. Take it a left? Yep, take a left. There's the hills in the back that we look at. Oh yeah, Actually, this is our the view. back of the travel village right there. Oh yeah, this is the back. It's the back of the travel village. Yeah, that's the way you don't want to show up with your RV. <laughs> yeah, you won't get in. It's locked. All right, we found the trailhead. Wow, this is a nice trailhead. Yeah. One of the nice things about being full-time is we can finally spend a lot of time going on bike trails that we stumble across. And everyone is more beautiful than the next, it seems. Now you might ask yourself, well, how do we find these trails? Well, we belong to something called Trail Link, and literally any and every city that we end up visiting We'll just type in our location and we'll find tons of trails and maps all laid out for us and all we have to do is go on them. Since we've been in the Los Angeles area, we of course have visited many of the trails that go along the ocean and they are certainly spectacular. But because of the filming laws in L.A. County, we have decided not to uh, take the chance and put those on YouTube because, uh, I mean, let's face it, this is Hollywood and all of those beautiful locations are pretty much saved for the movie industry and not for some rinky-dink little YouTube channel. Along a trail like this is you'll have an amazing assortment of things to look at. Uh, like you're looking at right here, you'll see like a business that butted up against this trail. But you don't have to travel too many more blocks and all of a sudden you'll be in a residential area with the riverbed always to your right and people actually having their patios uh, butting up against this dry riverbed. Most of this footage I have sped up to two times actual speed so I can show you a little bit more without boring you to death. All of a sudden here you see off to the right there's an equestrian trail that we could see for a while and uh, it's actually down in the riverbed right now. What I just did there is I pulled over to the side of the road because the boss, I had to wait for her to show up to tell me which way to go, left or right. So you can see the trail is beautifully paved, but the view is pretty cool too. So this is a dry riverbed, got the mountains in the background. So Sue had to pull over here to do a little finagling with her iPhone navigation. And I didn't know it at the time, but it actually uh, worked out pretty good for us because it slowed us down going in and underneath this bridge. And probably I would have been going faster than you're seeing right now, but this just proves one of the reasons why you always wanna wear a helmet 
and you want to pay attention to turns like this a lot of times it's hard to see because it's so bright like this but all of a sudden some goofball comes around the corner mr lance armstrong he's going like way too fast and if i wouldn't have been going so slow we would have crashed and this guy most certainly would have went ass over tea kettle over that guardrail on that embankment on the right so uh, i hope he uh, thanked his lucky stars that i'm a slow old guy besides the walkers the bicyclists and the horseback riders you also have to watch out for the utility vehicles that you'll see along the way that are either maintaining the utilities uh, that many times follow these trails or just maintaining the roadway like that guy is. I can't tell you how many times Sue and I would look at each other and remark to each other, wow, this area is so beautiful. This would be one of the areas that I could certainly live in. I can tell you from experience, if you're familiar with an area like this that you're living in, you could probably go from one area of town to the other with very little effort, uh, going on the roadways only when you have to. But we played it safe and we went as far as we could in one direction. And then when it looked like you had to have a little bit more education and being able to weave through the city, we chose to just take the trail that was on the other side of the dry riverbed and basically backtrack in the same direction we had came and hooked up with the Santa Clara River Trail. There's restrooms over here. Let's take advantage of them. Oh, excellent plan. Restroom stop. It's nice to know on, uh, this looks like a trailhead. Some of them actually do have restrooms. What are you doing, Mark? All right, so this is the engineering section of the OGM RV channel. This is going towards Los Angeles, and this aqueduct here, which in a second I'll film going uphill there, that's got to be bringing water in. And I can tell you that as we've been getting more educated traveling, water as far as like Lone Pine on the other side of the mountain ranges was being collected an aqueduct to Los Angeles. It is a thirsty city. So that aqueduct system that we saw in Lone Pine just completely blew us away on how big it was and how much effort in engineering went through to direct water to Los Angeles. And we're not saying that this pipe is carrying that water. In fact, I'm certain it's not. But it is just amazing to see the infrastructure that's needed to support such a large city like this once you start to pay attention as you're driving around town and you look in the hills, there were many times that we not only saw one pipe like this, you might see sometimes two or a trio of three pipes coming down the mountain. So I'm looking up the hill where this aqueduct is and you can see it kind of pokes out of that mound of dirt there and then it abruptly comes down and uh, I'm imagine they spent a fair amount of money pumping it up there and now it's kind of coming down for free. Okay, Sue, I just had a horrible thought. Do you think maybe this pipe here, do you think maybe it's just coming from the rig? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that.
it said the trail ends. I thought it was just a path. I mean, this baby really ended. Thank God I'm an expert driver and I was able to put the bike down without hurting myself. It, it's amazing how you got the bike to flip that way and you what, went the other way. Once again, all of this stuff so I don't get mixed up, it's all in the right order for me to put it on. Oh my gosh. That will get going a lot faster because I don't have to think about anything. Look at this. Shake it off. Just dust it off. Good as new. Here. Ready to go. How's my hair? Beautiful. Okay. Let's as go. always. Alright. Look at this. Somebody else smashed into here. You can tell because there's some yellow there. I think that was from their safety vest. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't matter their gum wrapper. Okay. Well, let me rest up for a second and then let's get going, honey. What have you? Okay, I'm done. I do have to say this is one of the prettier trails we actually have done. All right, Mark's all brushed off and we're heading back. So once more, we're returning to the engineering portion of the RV show on Ojim. Here's the elevated view of this aqueduct pipe. Very impressive going through this valley. Apologize for the traffic in back of me, but we're right by a bridge that goes over the pipe and then the pipe goes up over the hill bring in the water so if you've watched our channel for a while you'll remember that i built a sled that had wheels on the front that would allow me to take my bicycle take the front tires off connect it to the sled and then roll it into the Honda. And I would have to swivel my front handlebars down for it to be able to fit under the roof. Well, as it turned out, that joint where I would swivel the handlebars down looked like it was starting to get compromised. And taking the front wheel off and having to reset the brakes all the time, that was turning into a pain. So what we did is we developed a new system here. We pulled the handlebar stem directly out of the bike and we slip it down into a backpack that we hang on the neck of the bike. We make certain to position the bags so that they face each other when both bikes are in the minivan so that we don't have any clanking around with the windows or the trim inside the minivan. We do remove the batteries before we lift the bikes into the Honda. That makes them a lot lighter. Uh, we try not to keep the batteries in the Honda because of the hot, harsh environment. And we don't want to make it too easy for someone if they steal the bikes that they can actually uh, just get on it and ride away. I want them to have to work on it. Uh, Sue's making this a lot easier than it looks lifting that back up. Those uh, bags are just packed with all sorts of stuff and it is amazing uh, how heavy they both are but she never complains so we always leave them on so we'd like to thank each and every one of you that stopped in to take the uh, Santa Clarita bike ride with us we got uh, plenty of adventures coming down the way we'd invite you to subscribe share give us a thumbs up and look forward to being with you next week